I am the alpha, I am the omega. I am the alpha, omega, the you saying, you saying, you saying. I am the alpha, omega, the you saying, you saying, yeah, you saying. What's up YouTube, it's Gary Brown from GB Fitness and we are back with another question of the day. But before we get into this question of the day, I just wanna let you guys know that if you are interested in trying out the workout that is on the screen right now, I will be posting it in the description box below. The full workout, everything will be there. And I believe I'm gonna start doing this for every single video, just in case if somebody wants to you know, check out my channel and they wanna find a new workout, get some new ideas, then they'll all be there in that description box every single time. But anyways, let's get on with this question of the day. And the question of the day comes from Spidey Shredding off of Instagram. And his question was, how often do you train traps or calves as a men's physique competitor? Now, this is actually a really, really good question because I actually had the same question heading into my, my first ever men's physique show this past September. And honestly, ever since my men's physique show I actually have been training my traps a lot more frequently and I have also been doing a lot more calves as well but I'm gonna just break this down into it real quick and just say each judge really looks at you know they're looking for all different things not every judge is gonna be looking for the same thing and like when I say that when I say that I mean you may be the most shredded person on stage you might have literally like the best physique on stage but if you're going up against a, guy, a lot of guys that are, you know, a lot bigger, got more muscle, they might not be as lean, that might just like single you out and make it so that the judges don't pick you to win. Whereas at the same time, you might be the biggest guy, most muscle on stage. But if you're facing a lot of smaller guys that are more ripped, shredded and all that, that might also, you know, make it so that the judges don't pick you as well. But, you know, at the same time, that could also, you know, add to your your vote for the winner and all that. So it really just depends because each judge does look for different things. You know, some want a mixture of, you know, size and, you know, how shredded you are, whereas others just want you to be shredded and others just want you to have more size. Like, it really just depends because each judge is going to be looking for different things. So I would just say just focus on yourself and just focus on trying to, you know, perfect your physique and do things to better your physique and you know make yourself look better than you were a year ago so if you feel like you need to train your traps more which honestly i i felt like i did so that's why i was more consistent then start training your traps a lot more and you know just work all these other muscle groups that'll help you know build your physique to be the best that it can be now as far as calves go there's actually something that my uh my posing coach told me and when we were working on my back pose um she was telling me that like if you know I flex my calf and show it off then it'll just really just complete the package now a lot of the judges they're just gonna be looking at your upper body cuz you know it's men's physique nobody really looks at legs honestly but I mean it won't hurt to actually have a nice big calf to show off on stage and just complete the package and that could actually be you know the deciding factor on whether or not you win or lose having that calf you know if you and this other guy have two crazy physiques crazy upper bodies and then you go into your back pose you're standing right next to him and he has like chicken legs and you have these you know massive like calves then that could actually be the deciding factor on whether or not you win against that guy or not and you know, I'm actually going to be working on my calves a lot more because it makes a lot of sense. When I was on stage, you know, I flexed my calf. I actually got a calf pump, too, before my show. And, you know, it just made me feel more confident out there as well. And, you know, like I said earlier in this video, if you feel like you need to grow and build a muscle group, then just go and start training it more. Start, you know, hitting it more because only you know what, you know, your best physique is. You Only you know what you know you're bringing to the table when you step up on stage so just give it your best bring your best on stage and really just work on those weak points work on those muscles that you feel like you need to grow the most and you'll you'll definitely make more progress but anyways guys that's going to conclude this video thanks for watching please comment like and subscribe and if you have any other questions for future videos and anything like that like i will be posting you know more videos like this more question of the days and, you know, I just want to help people out and give as much information as I can. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching again. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.